You know that feeling, that moment when you have lit the candle and you have turned the hot water off and you slowly sink into the bathtub. Uh, for me, I like to actually go uh, totally underwater. And for that moment, you f you just you don't think about anything. And the feeling of the hot water, the calmness, right? The silence. And this is why I like going underwater because uh, you also don't hear anything underwater or you hear less. Um, but that whole head-to-toe submersion and silence and that calm. Uh, and of course, after I last lasts about a, a minute or two, and then of course all the thoughts come rushing in and you know, you hear all the noises and your partner's knocking on the door telling you to get out because there are things to get done or whatever. Um, but that moment of complete calm, that's what your new love experience should feel like. Because what you're doing is you are convincing not only yourself but your body that love can be calm because we grew up with trauma because we grew up um, with chaos because our relationships especially when we were younger um, and love was not tame <laughs> love was uh, like a wild animal um, our body doesn't know what calm feels like and so for many they get to that place and they're so close to giving their body that experience and because there's resistance because it doesn't smell familiar uh, we can sabotage we could run the other way we could uh, file that connection as boring or no chemistry or whatever um, but if you actually soak in it if you actually sit in it um, then you start to convince your body through the experience, through the calm, uh, not logically, but you convince your body through the experience, and there's nothing more convincing than an experience, right? So you are convincing your body that this is perhaps the new, the new new. This is what love can feel like. And if you can sit in it long enough where it becomes the new definition of love, now you have um, raised the bar, you have set a standard, you have something new that you can try, trace instead of going back and tracing the old dysfunctional uh, blueprints of love that you thought was love that leads to reactions and chaos and a lot of the stuff that your body is used to and have experienced and you also know logically that it doesn't go anywhere right you know logically that that's not the kind of love that you want you don't want the kind of love that you had in your 20s if you're in your 20s then you don't want the love that you had in high school and so what does that look like for you what does it look like for you to create a love experience where your body can feel that kind of calm. And I would hold that high with two hands. I would make that a priority over pretty eyes and abs, <laughs> over um, types. So ask yourself what that looks like. Um, and then, more importantly, how are you going to give that to yourself? How are you going to give yourself that new experience? Because it's important. It's imperative. It's where patterns are broken. And then it's also where um, the birth of new definitions, not because you read something, but the birth of new definitions because you felt something, right? That's where it all starts. And through that experience, um, the more that you're in that, the more times you give your body that experience, uh, you start to rewire yourself. You start to recondition your body. And I really believe that, um, man, my, my voice sometimes go high, goes high-pitched like Jay Leno. I think it just happened right now, and it sounds kind of weird. Maybe, maybe when I get excited, it goes, it goes up. But anyway, um, I really believe that um, subconsciously, um, maybe it's... It, it's uh, Things that we can't see, but I really believe that our body gravitates toward what it knows. And, um, you know, we try to trick it with our mind, but I think the power is in 
convincing your body, using your body as a radar instead of your logic, right? I think there's so much more power in that. And so um, our subconscious lives in our body and not in our mind. And so um, we are running by, um, um, you know, making decisions by, we are um, running toward whatever is in our subconscious. So if we can get in there, and I think this is one of the ways in is through this new experience, uh, new definitions, new conditioning, right? New rewiring your body. Um, if we can get in there and work through and mold something new, then I think we we end up doing less work because then it's like our body uh, is going to gravitate toward giving ourselves that new experience. So now I'm talking about the idea of leveraging your body dropping into your body uh more so than just your mind and logic you know uh, and i think if you can give your body something that is new and that new becomes the norm and of course that's a process and it takes time um it's so much more powerful than you just trying to think of something and white knuckling and um you know logically uh because what's in between our ears can can be the most dangerous place can be slippery right our um thoughts and cognitive distortions and all of that um I, I don't know i don't trust my mind i trust my body more and and by body i'm not just talking about like uh literally your body i'm talking about uh your soul i'm talking about your um connection to uh, who you are right so um the fiber of your being what does it look like to create that feeling of calm like when you are soaking in your tub before all the thoughts come in right that that those few moments of uh, serenity what does it feel like to give yourself that experience with love what kind of choices do you have to make to give yourself that experience what do you need to let go of what definitions have to be new you know um, what boundaries do you have to draw? What are going to be your new standards? What are going to be your new non-negotiables to give yourself this new experience? If you put a lot of weight on that, I think uh, I think it's going to change you from the inside out. And then if you think of it that way, um, love becomes bigger than you because if it does change you from the inside out then you're bringing something to the table that is new and different and that is also going to impact the other person and I think in that way you are now giving a gift that is greater than just feeling good or what you want now you are giving the gift of um, of you and uh, that gift is going to change someone else you know and then the um, the um, the collaboration, the um, the two parts, not only you and the gift that you're bringing to the table, but also um, the person that you're investing in. Those parts combined to create something new, create something bigger than um, you and your partner. Uh, creates a new safe container that is going to promote encourage growth right and and this is where love gets really um abstract but beautiful and bigger than than you is um when you when you can contribute to creating a space that is going to be um greater than and is going to encourage what's in that space i think love is uh, really powerful in that way and i think Many or maybe most um, don't get to experience that because we are chasing yesterday, tracing old blueprints and not giving us, uh, not giving ourselves, our body, um, the calm that it needs like medicine as a prescription for it to heal from previous trauma, chaos, and old love that we're used to, to break out of that shell and to create something new where we can start to grow new wings um, it's going to re require that new calm experience. Hopefully you can uh, do that for yourself and hopefully through that um, give yourself a new, a new definition 
a new love experience. Uh, and then finally, um, let go of everything that was, let go of the past. <laughs>